Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu, the girl with half a brain. This is real. So there's a girl called Jodie Miller, and when she was three, she was playing at daycare, and then she had a seizure. And next thing she knew, she was in the, an ambulance. And they took her to hospital, and they weren't sure what was wrong with her. And then she had another seizure, and another seizure, and another seizure, to the point where she was having them almost every three minutes, and she'd keep falling over to her left side. So people would have to be on her left side, just in case she had a fear of seizure and fell to that side to catch her. So she had a condition called Rasmussen's encephalitis, which caused an inflammation, a swelling, chronic inflammation, so long-term swelling, of the brain, usually in one hemisphere. So the entire left side or entire right side of her brain was swollen. And in her case, it was the entire right side of her brain. That's why she kept falling to the left. So parents spoke to the doctors, oh, what can we do about this? Doctor said, there's only one thing you can do. We'll have to cut out half of her brain. We need to remove the entire right hemisphere of her brain, the right-hand side of her brain. And the doctor said, look, don't worry. The left will compensate. She's so young, the brain is in a stage of plasticity, which means that it starts to compensate and it kind of re rewrites itself. And so as you're growing, as you're learning, the brain says, right, we don't have this part anymore, so we need to compensate. This side needs to compensate and do more things. The procedure is called a hemispherectomy, and what it is is you literally cut out that side of the brain. The hemispherectomy has been performed in over 50 people and has been very successful. And in almost all cases, 80 to 90% of cases, the seizures stop as a result of taking out that side of the brain. And the doctors think that her brain would have started to rewire itself before the operation. She's now happily married. The only notable thing is she's got limited movement in her left arm and or she's got a slight limb. There is such a thing as a traumatic hemispherectomy. This is where you have a trauma to one side of your brain. Like, for example, a gunshot wound actually shot in the brain and you survive. So that happens, they say, right, we need to take out this half of the brain. They take out that half of the brain and the person still survives. This happened to Ahad Israfield who lost the right side of his cerebrum in a gun-related accident in 1987. The gunshot shattered his skull, so there's an indent where there's a loss of bone from the skull, but apart from that, he regained most of his faculties. That is possible. Half a brain, lose half a brain and still be okay. How amazing is that? So that is a girl with half a brain. Thanks for watching. Love you, bye, love you, bye. Love you, bye.